okay guys so now in this video we are gonna make a button in the bottom of uh, our game so when you press this button it will restart all the game so this is a very simple process uh, so basically we have to create a new function in that we are set all the values with uh, a empty string and uh, we are enable all the buttons so basically you can do this thing very easily so yeah my laptop is uh, not working very properly yeah, here okay so when it will uh, load it i will restart the video okay guys so it is it is working now so first of all write a function here and the name of this function is restart okay so now basically what we have to do here firstly run a for loop here from okay i is equal to 0 to i less than 9 <coughs> and i plus plus and here simply you can uh, or you can do one more thing and what is that simply scroll up uh, this screen and oh my god yeah you can simply copy this thing from here and paste it paste it in there why it is uh, not working okay not quite here white yeah so yeah so like that you can do this thing and here now what uh, you want to do here simply what we want to do here first of all we want to change the text yeah with a empty string so set text with the empty string and then enable this button okay so simply yeah this is true uh, so yeah and and when you want to do this thing whenever you click the restart button so basically now we have to add one more button here so go in the xml file and add one more button yeah first of all now we have four columns that's why the column count is now is four and now scroll down i and create one more button here okay and you can uh, means you can declare a another layout and and there you can press this button button or you can you can add this button in this grid layout also so now i am gonna one thing here this is first and year one and the name of this button is restart button okay okay so now take a preview okay uh, it is taking so much time oh my god why it is not working so i'm gonna pause uh, the video here uh, when it will yeah so it uh, yeah it is refreshing so after some time it and one more thing here now change the text size also here 
so remove this thing from here and now you can see here it is refreshing so yeah now we have one more button so you can we have to change one thing here and what is that here from yeah so whenever you click a button this event happens but if the means uh, if the event tag is 10 means 9 one minute we also have to change the tag here and the tag of this button is 9 okay now take a preview okay it is taking so much time okay so wait for it okay so now we have one restart button also so stop or declare it here so this is also a private button okay private button and button so now you can do one more thing here and that is first of all now find view by id dot and what is the id of that button is button 5 ok so now there is no need to write this thing because I declare a linear layout yeah, you can see here here I have linear layout in linear layout I have griddle layout so basically in the linear layout I declare a button so now I now we don't need to write here 9 you can simply use grid layout uh, dot get layout and you, and you can write also 9 here okay so now whenever you click this button button dot set okay set on click listener new on click listener okay so now whenever you click in this button you want to call the restart function so simply call this function and one more thing whenever a particular person uh, win the game then also you want to uh, you want to means uh, you want to call this function so here you can also write restart and here you can you can also write restart and one more thing that I want to do here that is I want to I want to add two more buttons here so that I can know that which player is playing uh, right now or you can add a text to here so that you can know that uh, uh, now uh, the chance is uh, now the chance is uh, for the first player or the second player so for that i am adding here uh, here a text view so basically in the uh, downside of a button you can add a text view here and the simply you can write text size is 18 dp I mean size p and simply what is the text here current player current player so like that you can do this thing and we also have to add here the id for this view so simply you can add text view so now go in the java code and declare it also so private text view okay oh what we did just so declare your text view yeah this thing and write it here so now declare it and find view by id i dot id dot text view 
okay so now what we want to do here simply you want to add the current position okay so you can do very simple thing here yeah you can write here text view dot means text view uh, dot set text and here now the player is first so you can write simply first and here second okay so now one more thing whenever this thing happen here you want to write one more thing in the text view and what is that you can simply write this thing that first player is winner and second player is winner so that we can uh, we can know that which player is uh, the winner in in the in in this game so now copy this thing from here and paste it here now write here uh, the second player is winner and now run this function in the emulator so basically i'll uh, run uh, run this function so yeah <sighs> so like that you can uh, write a very simple uh, code board uh, tic tac toe again so now i'm i am mm -hmm, i want to make this game online so for that i am using firebase so now first of all we have to add the firebase in our project so this is a very simple uh, way to add firebase with our project so i'm gonna do this thing right now so first of all when, first of all uh, go in the tools and here oh my god what i just press minimize it because we want to add our project with firebase so yeah go in the tools and here we have firebase if you don't know that how to uh, deal with firebase then you can uh, go in the uh, playlist and and watch the previous video that how to send the data in firebase and hide how to get there these are very simple video you can uh, learn these things okay so now yeah so now i'm gonna do one more thing yeah we want to use here simply firebase storage not storage real time database okay so yeah now connect uh, this uh, means connect our project with firebase and then add some dependencies here so first of all wait for some time when uh, it will connect with firebase i will restart yeah so here uh, we have to do yeah this is right india india and one minute yeah connect to firebase it will take some time to do this thing so that uh, that's why i am pausing my video here okay guys so now our project can be connected with firebase and now we have to add some dependencies here so basically now i am uh, going on a uh, firebase so yeah where is google chrome yes go here and okay so now you can see here that this is uh, our app in the firebase so okay so now here we are using the database so wait for some time yeah it is opening so first of all go in the database and here create database okay so start in a test mode and work kind of okay your data will be open by default to so yeah now go in the next section and done it not quite fast firestore we want to use here uh, 
means real time database parts so wait for some time when it is done i will restart my this video on video yeah uh, so for store data storing or uh, store for data you can use simply a cloud file store and a real time database so both are um, means you can use both of us here but i am using here real time database uh, so in the real time database first of all we have to change uh, the rules here so yeah it is taking some time yeah here you can see that both are false you cannot read the data and you cannot write the data so first of all change here with true true because we want to read data and also we want to write data here so publish this rule here okay yeah now we have some data here so now go in and okay there is some error error while launching okay yeah leave it minimize it okay i think there is some error let's go and check that uh, we have the dependency for real time database or not so for that we have to go in uh, the project yes, it is taking so so much time nothing to show okay yeah it is loading so i am pausing here okay guys so this is our tab so now i click here this is our first means first player you can see here when i click here this is second player okay that is right click here this is also first player and uh, now i click here yes so basically what happened here what do you think think that what happened here because now you can see here that we that that uh, our algorithm is not working properly so what you think that what is the idea here basically now i am you can see i restart this thing but now i further uh, run this app but it is not uh, doing anything it is simply calling second player is winner so what do you think that what is there here let's check it out so first of all you can see here we only did and we only <coughs> did two things here first of all we change the text and we uh, uh, said this enabled with true but we did one mistake here and what is that we don't change the list elements so this is the big mistake that's why i have to we have to do here one one more thing dot set and here we have index and set the, the value with minus 1 so now if you run this app then it will work properly and uh, if once is it, it is installed i will show you so it it will take some time so uh, we have to do some more things here so when some player won we have to further set uh, set it this uh, thing from zero and whenever you call this restart function here we also have to do this thing okay okay <clears throat> or you can remove this thing means yeah you can do this thing here or maybe you can delete this thing from here because we did this thing in the restart function so now we did all the things right when you click the start button it will do all the things and uh, here also all the things are right okay so basically now i'm gonna 
yeah yeah i'm gonna run this uh, run this program further so wait for the time okay so now we are gonna check this thing that it is right or wrong so first of all i click here so this is first player this is second player this is first player this is second player and this is first player and you can see here first player is winner so now we are restarting this game here this is first player this is second player first player and this is also second player now here first player and here second player and here first player so now we are gonna do one more thing here so when yeah we uh, we don't do here one thing and what is that tie so we don't write any code for tie so basically this is a very very simple code uh, that you can write here okay so you can yeah one more thing you can do one more thing here like that you are playing some match and now you want to do restart it you can simply click here so it is it will working so now we are gonna a very simple thing we want to check that this maze is tie or not so you can do very simple thing here and what is that yeah we want to know that uh, this match is tie or not so you can declare one more integer here okay this this is int and here you can write this is count is equal to zero so whenever we have nine count it will the match is tie uh, match will tie so basically whenever you click this button we want to do this thing and what is this count plus plus so first of all means first of all when you click this button one two three okay so whenever we have a okay if count is equal to is equal to means is equal to is equal to nine and sorry not and i think this is why and here we have to do one thing and what is the yeah if one not equal to means yeah not equal to not not equal equal to minus one then we are gonna a very we are gonna do here a very simple thing and what is that here come here and first of all restart and set the text with empty and here the count is now zero okay so like that you can do this thing and one more thing you can remove this count from here and put it in the restart function like that so now i am running this program further and let's watch that it is it is right or not or it is working or not so after that i am uh, i'm gonna do a very simple thing in this means in this video i am sending our data in firebase and in the next video we are gonna make this uh, means we are gonna make a game there we can play this game online with other player so this thing i am gonna do in the next video so okay so let's watch that it is correct or not so yeah one like that put anything here this is now put it here oh my god what okay and this it is winner so this is second player then we have a first player this is second player then we have first player and this is second player then we have first player this is second player okay 
so like that we can share that uh, the match is type okay so we got an error here and what is that if the count is equal equal to 9 here okay in the first click uh, we have count is 1 in the second click 2 in the third click 3 so I think here you can paste this thing down and now let's see that it is it is right or wrong because in the first click yeah because in the ninth click basically it will tie but you can see in the previous b and the uh, that is it it is not working okay it is it is executing yeah now you can see that it is simply tie okay so it is working now you can see that it is working yeah okay so it is not working restart so basically i did this mistake here okay now run it so basically now what i want to do here yeah whenever you click this button i want to send the data in in firebase so basically here i am gonna do this thing yeah, here so what i want to do here simply firebase database yeah here we have firebase database dot get instant dot get reference and here we have reference cam and in this game we are uh, playing the first game so child is one and one minute so now first of all we have to create here a hash map you can copy this line from here and make a different function for that public void send data and paste it here and first of all we have to make here a hash map so create a hash map and uh, or you can create a different class and then you can also send the data in firebase but i am using here has map because it is very easy to use so here i i have yeah here, here i have the id not id a string and here i have object okay so basically like that i am create here a map new has map so in this has map we are gonna put very simple thing and what is that first of all map dot put a string means put okay it will not working properly yeah here first of all write the data and what is data this is list and then write the count and that is count and the third thing is map dot put the the player id that which player is playing this is count okay so like that you can create a hash map so now i am gonna do 
set value and you can pass this this object uh, this map here you can also add here some uh, additional settings like that add on complete listener if you want to know that uh, it is working properly or not so now this is uh, right so now whenever you click this button we want to execute this function so you can paste it here this function send data okay so like that you can do this thing and yeah so now run this program here and let's go in the in the firebase console here we have firebase console not console means firebase database and uh, now our app is running okay so whenever you click this button we want to know okay so now basically why it is not working whenever we click the this button we want to see here uh, have something but now nothing happening okay that is right but what is the problem here so i'm gonna pause this video here okay now it is executing you can see here again this is first okay count zero and this is our data i don't know why it is taking so much time i think there is some network problem here so now run this game again okay now you click this button yeah you can see here now we have the count is one okay and the count is two okay when we click this button you can also see here some change three and the three position is now one now we click this thing now also you can see here okay so it is working fine okay so like that you can uh, uh, do this thing so now what i am gonna do here here we can see that we are facing some problems here so go in the go in the code uh, java code and yeah here we don't have to do this thing don't need to do this thing you can simply do one thing here use the count thing here and here here you can this is right and remove it from here and in the send data don't add this thing here because here we can add this thing modulus so like that you can do now remove this thing from here and run this uh, function again and let's watch this uh, what is uh, that it is working fine or not so yeah it is working so when i click this button you can uh, see here that it is change the data and now we have count is also one and this is first player so when i click this thing you can see here this is a second player but the count is zero means there is a problem one minute when i click this thing okay 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 so you can uh, watch it there the count is right and the both are interchange so we did some mistake in the code but it is working fine like that it is working so yeah. so now what i want to do here okay yeah so this is our program here and we did some mistakes here yeah 
we want we have to do this thing not here but here and here count so basically now what i am going to do here i am also yeah now we want uh, uh, if two players are playing here when the first player is uh, uh, means whenever is uh, do a click in the second player we can see the change so like that we are we can make a online game in the next video i am gonna do this thing so thank you for watching this video if you uh, like this video then please subscribe